Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Let's head on back to the Goodman Residence. Now, last time we defeated Kikyo, the ninja, by letting her murder almost everyone else in the house. Well, at least a couple other people, not almost everyone, but... Nastasha is dead. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you guys what would have happened if, well... You knew that Nastasia was the culprit here. So what you do is you go right up to her and you get the cutscene. You get the cutscene with Ring a Bell there, and then you need to poke her uh, 17 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, one more time, and the jig is up for some reason. Haha! <laughs> Whoa, the body spoke! <laughs> so you have discovered my ruse. I never expected you to notice I was merely posing as a corpse. How clever of you. Ha! Just as I suspected! Maybe she used the same potion that uh, Kata used to fake his death. You're right. I have yet to slay my mark. Trust the wind vessel and her troop to show up at the worst possible time. Well, it seems I have no choice to kill you all, just as I did the fire vessel three years ago. You were the one who took the fire vessel's life? Well, she's an assassin. Then you are a member of the Black Blades? Who you sure talk fast. That is correct. I am Konoe Kikyo, professional killer and leader of the Black Blades covert forces. Well, not good enough. She's gone quiet. I've seen this woman near this residence before. She was just my type, so... Uh, I mean, she looked suspicious, so I chased after her, but she gave me a swift rebuff. <laughs> what? You mean this is the girl you were chasing after that time? I'm surprised she didn't just bother killing you for getting in her way. Here she comes! Any last words before you meet your maker? Hasn't she already met her maker? The boss fight is identical, regardless of which way you go about it, or bring it about. So, the ninja chooses to remain silent upon her death? You think? It looks like she has something to say. Look, she's changed her disguise again. I think this part's the same, but... I used the turmoil as the war drew to a close to finally round up the shield bearer commander and his two top officers. But all of my effort has been for naught. All was going to plan until I used the wind vessel to lure my victims. And you all come sauntering in out of nowhere and ruin everything. That is the last time I trust alternates for information. I pitted Officer Steiner and Neuer against each other. Oh. For all that time. Yet you got me in the end. Wind Vestal. <sighs> hmm, I don't think she revealed that information, uh... Or the other way around. Hmm. She got that off her chest quick. <laughs> Thank you, Wind Vestal. You and your companions have saved me from an early grave. Yeah, and Steiner and Neuer survive if you go about the seen this way. You have my eternal gratitude, Wind Vestal. The shield bearers could have lost their leadership before the war drew to a close. Indeed. Just as we let our guard down, we walked straight into this deadly trap. All the slander I'd heard about Officer Neuer could have been the work of the enemy as well. Evidently. It was silly of me to assume that Officer Steiner was after Commander Goodman's position, now that I think of it. As joint chiefs of operations for the shield bearers, it is terribly embarrassing to fall into the enemy's snare. Maybe you should get some ninjas of your own. Don't worry. Even your commander fell for their ruse completely. Of course. I've got it. Hmm? Just what is it you've got? We already figured everything out. That death threat. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? How about filling in the blanks? What about it? The enemy had spread rumors and slander about officers Steiner and Neuer over a long period of time. Hmm. That death threat 
was undoubtedly a devious scheme to bring their suspicions of each other to a head. The invitations bearing the name of the Wind Vestal, savior of these lands, and the hint that Commander Goodman was targeted. Maybe they should have invited them by someone else. At very least, it would have driven a wedge between the three leaders of the Shield Bearers. Providing a chance to kill. I see. D Daniel! Nastasia is in the cellar! Oh, is she dead? What? Is she unharmed? Why wouldn't she have been there before? Yes. She was drugged and is still a little woozy, but she is safe. Oh, hey, hey! I see. Thank heavens. From now on, I'll do my best to spend more time at home, even when I'm busy. That would certainly set me at ease. It gets lonely in this big house by myself. We'll arrange it so the commander is able to get home more often, Mrs. Goodman. Ah. I appreciate it. Well, that's case closed. Now we just have to get the door open. Commander Goodman! Officer Steiner! Officer Neuer! Are you alright? Oh, you sure took your time. Yes, we're all fine. Garland, is that you? I'll get the door open now! Please, stand back! Don't make too much mess! I was thinking that voice sounded familiar. <laughs> but, okay, we're done with our business here. Now, I am not going to continue on this way. I don't think there's any long-term repercussions of Steiner and Neuer dying. So, we're just going to keep going uh, with, with the way that I proceeded from there. But, let's see. Also, since last time, I've made a lot of progress with Norende as I started working on there. So, let's see what we got. Well, we got more party chat to start. Oh, is it? I didn't think we were that close. Now we got e Eagle relaying my commands and all that. Where are we building this village anyway? I mean, we can't be building it right on the big hole there. I like how it's... The Great Chasm is big enough to be seen on the world map there. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Why not? Ah. <laughs> oh, ring a bell. Well, we're working on it. But, okay, well, let's see what we've got going here. Okay, so we've got... What is it? Mostly what I was concerned about was the hill part shop there to get all of the like the cure doom or the doom resistance ones or special parts move there so that'll help us out in an upcoming boss fight not right now but soon enough viewers soon enough and yeah we've got a whole bunch of other stuff going didn't get uh anything going with the special move shop but i'm not worried about that I mean, I do want to work towards it, but it's not, like, a high priority now. So, okay, let's see what we can do with all the rest of this stuff. Let's see. Okay, so with valley parts there, I want to put a whole bunch of guys there. Because, yeah, we can get a BP bonus there now. That's a new special parts there. And also an even more powerful power boost there. So that'll be useful for us there. Let's see. We got cake parts there. I'll put a whole bunch of guys there as well to finish that off there. Or get that going more. Let's see. With the combat items, I would like to keep working on that so I could get some more items periodically from that shop. Let's see. Compounds. I'm still working towards that dragon fang 
that they can sell there. They can, well, sell a whole bunch of those. So let's see. Five of those that ought to do there. Let's see. River parts. I've gotten most of what I care about out of that, but I'll keep working on it for some other bonuses that could be useful. And let's see. Special moves. Yeah, let's just put a couple more there. And that ought to be good. Also, since last time, I have rearranged my party, as I have listed in the video description there. Let's see. Namely, oh, also, on the way back, when I fought some battles, let's see. We got Pressure Point, one of my favorite abilities in the game. It ignores defense, and it only costs 1 BP. So if I've got an enemy that has a lot of HP, or even just two enemies... It would be better for me to use Pressure Point because it ignores defense instead of, say, Crescent Moon there to hit the two of them. Now, now Pressure Point, that's going to be the way to go. It is one of my favorite attacks in the game. And that'll be really useful in the long run. I'm probably not going to use it that much in Chapter 4 because it really doesn't become obscene until you get a BP generator. And I'll be going over that when we get to that point i'm still working on that probably won't get that until the end of chapter four or so but all right let's head on back to grand ship and see if we can find a way to get to that earth crystal see if anyone's heard any rumors this time around hopefully they won't make me do an insane amount of backtracking this time uh, i haven't seen you lot in a while I heard about your exploits, though. We were just here, asking about, uh, what was that? They were saying something about the innkeep. Zats told me all about it. He and his mates stop by for a drink when they're around. Oh, uh, good for them. Stop by later, okay? I'll give you a special treat. Oh, um, thanks. But all right, do you know, well, yeah, let's get in there. Oh, uh, there you are. I can't give you any liquor, but you can help yourself to anything else on the menu. What do you mean? We're 18 in the American version of the game. Or old enough, I would think. Are you sure? That's very generous of you. Make yourselves at home. I've taken a shine to you all. Oh, thanks? I'll have the braised shanks and spicy seafood steak. What's a shank? Fluffy cheese omelet, please. Oh, and a palatial parfait deluxe. Mmm, cheesy omelets. Sautéed wild pheasant and the slow-cooked country-style stew. Um, sweet herb and nut porridge and some jam slathered toast. Man, our party members sure have a wide variety of interests in food. I like it. Sure thing. Hang on a second. Whoa. What was that? We've been having that a lot lately. Grand ship might be finally coming apart. How long has it even been here? Yikes. Oh, that was a big shake. How long ago was Grand Ship built? They say it's been three or four thousand years. Basically a long time ago. Jesus Christ! No wonder it's falling apart! Wow. It's that old. Shouldn't we, like, looking to do repairs or something? All right. It's all ready. Help yourself to seconds, of course. Here you go. Let's eat. That was a feast and a half. <laughs> we get feasts all the time. Is that all you're having on, yes? You eat like a sparrow. Well, yeah, she's got to maintain her figure. I lived by modest means at the temple, and I still get full very easily. Say, proprietress, do you have any plans tonight? Shall we take a stroll on the deck and listen to the waves? She's gotta be twice your age, dude! <laughs> What's this guy on about? Uh, pay no attention to him. There we go again. That sound gives me the shivers. Well, you just haven't been living here long enough. We're all used to it here. The <laughs> whole town floats on the sea, after all. It's nothing out of the ordinary for it to creak and sway a bit. 
Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. What's going on? Are we leaving? <sighs> uh, I guess I'm not. Stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. You ate too much, Tiz. I can't believe you put all that away. Do men always eat such volume? Well, we do, evidently. Well, I guess so. I haven't pigged out that much in a while, though. Since last feast we had at the Goodman's. Or, wait a minute, we probably didn't have a, a chance to eat there because of all the stuff that was going on. Yeah. I see. Quite an appetite. Oh, good of you to stop by. Who's that? Hi there. Hey, how's it going? Greetings. Ah, the Wind Vestal. Rare to see you both here together. The usual dads? No, I'm good today. I'm glad we ran into you guys here. Oh, why's that? Huh? You'd best flee the ship soon. Why? Flee? <laughs> the whole place moved! It's always doing that. Idea, Agnes, proprietress. Hold on to me as tight as you can. I'll support you. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Did you, Larry? No need to be shy, girls. This place is sinking, and it's going down quick. Not that quick, evidently. They're in a panic up on deck. Oh. Well, I guess if even the residents are pa panicking. So, what are you going to do? Uh, can I talk to you? Oh, yeah, sure. Can I even talk to her? No, I guess not. Oh, good for you guys. Okay, yeah, I guess we can't talk to her. Okay, never mind. Well, let's see what's going on above deck. So I guess they were talking about the council here or something. Oh, yeah, I suppose our ship might have enough room for others. Is there someone over there? Mm, ah, there he is. Hey, how's it going? Well, move on. Don't we got, like, life rafts on this thing or something? You gotta have a, a backup plan. Then leave. It's not that hard, dude. But let's see what's going on here. Now something's going on in back. Yeah, just in case you sink underwater, and then all those mad sharks will get you. <laughs> Well, some guys don't seem to mind. And let's see, now we can actually go back here. You couldn't do that before, for some reason. What is happening? We're being blocked by an invisible plot wall! Say, didn't Ringabel's journal say something about an engine room? Oh, yeah. Maybe this is it here? <clears throat> but it won't open. I would think an engine room wouldn't really do us a whole lot of good if the whole place is falling apart. I'll check the journal again. Hmm. Nothing's changed. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Let's all look. Yeah, let's take a look around. Why not? Oh, okay. Hmm. What's this? Guess we do that automatically. Found something? What language is it written in? I can't read a word. Hmm. Same here. It's all gibberish to me. Can you read it, Agnes? Wait. This is the ancient language of the Crystal Adventists. I can only make out a few words. Hmm. I hadn't heard of those guys before. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Engine room door. Heart of the ship. 
requires only calcum. Hmm. Ship will rise. Oh, I guess it'll stabilize, huh? Engine room door. It must mean this door. Oh, I remembered something. Huh? Ego, that orichalcum he picked up. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, I would think all the orichalcum's gone since we awakened the fire crystal or something. But yeah, we did get a piece of that there. But before heading out, let's see, I think there's a couple things we can get around here. Maybe? No, maybe it's around here. You can't actually look into that telescope, I don't think. No, you can't. Let's see. Haha, -ha, okay. Well, that's all the items we can get here, so... Well, I guess we got more use for Eggle. So, let's head on back to... Uh, Caldisla there. See if he'd be willing to help us out. I was going to say, maybe it'll be daytime by the time we get there, but no, it's already daytime. I thought it was still nighttime for some reason. But, alright, let's head on. Whoa. Yeah, let's watch out for the fog. Fight the fog. Hey, Eagle, let go of my Elry Calcum. I mean, we were the ones who helped you to get it in the first place. Oh, welcome back. I don't know how a rock would have anything to do with an engine room, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> You're looking well. Maybe something like uh, dilithium crystals or something. I believe I have you to thank for that. I'm very grateful. Eggle goes to the training hall at the castle every day about this time. He should return soon. Hey, hey all right. I'm back. Oh, it's you guys. Hey, just paying you another visit. I have a favor to ask you, Eggle. Can you let me have that orichalcum you found? I know it's a lot to ask. Maybe that's what they make sky stones out of. We would really appreciate it, Eggle. Dude? Oh, please. No need to ask so politely. Of course you can have it. Hey, hey, all right. Are you sure? I get eggs for dinner every day here anyway. I can train and go to school as well. All because you rescued me from the sword bearers and brought me here. And took you away from your own country. You needed to help someone out, right? In that case, it's yours. Um, yeah, something like that. Thank you, Eagle. I mean, we have already Calcum armor, but I guess this is what we need. Well, I'm not sure how that's going to help, but, well, at least we got it. So that way we can, well, do something back at Grand Ship there. But what do we find in the engine room of Grand Ship? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.